Now, another adjunct to that, um, you know, to those, those item types is the ability to summarize and aggregate and group uh, reports. MicroStation has had reports for a while. This is a very cool feature. It's like it was the second most popular idea that was out there in the Bentley communities for MicroStation. And if you've not played around with the reports um, under your Analyze tabs, it gives me the opportunity to go out and say, okay, I want to, um, well, actually, let's jump back to the sign example since we were playing with that. If I go back, and I'll go back to the other file too, I'll show you a couple examples. Let me make sure that I don't have anything extra in here. I'm going to update from the library, and that way I don't have any. There we go. I don't want any. I want to start with a straight up, you know, just sign report. So if you ran a, a report with MicroStation uh, in previous versions of MicroStation for all these signs, this is what you would get. It's every single sign, all 35 of them. There they are, all the properties of it. But wouldn't it be nice to say, based on the catalog number, how many of each sign type do I have or how many each of the sign categories do I have? So I'm going to shut that down because one of the things I can do in the groups and aggregate, aggregates is I can come over and add, I'm going to say, let's group this first by the sign use. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And then I didn't notice the, uh, the with the, the dark theme, I was having a hard time find, seeing that, the uh, little save button, strangely. And now what I'm going to do is add an aggregate. So I'm grouping it by the sign use, and I'm going to aggregate this based on, yeah, the catalog number looks good to me. And what do I want? I want the count of that. So let's go rerun that. Now what do we see? Well, we see the sign use, and there's the total number. So there's 12 speed limit signs, two one-ways. Uh, I added a stop sign, so there's six of those. I added a couple of them, actually. And there they are. Now, you don't like the way it looks? We can change it. It's the same data. Remember, it's data. You can slice the data any way you want. So I'm going to clear that, and I'm going to reverse that. So this time, um, we're going to say... Uh, sign, uh, I'm going to do, let's see, catalog number, and let's do the aggregate, not on the catalog number, but on the sign use, and let's rerun that. Now you have the catalog number and the total number. If I was to place this into the file as a table, this data goes along with it. It's not just for viewing. That can be used as a in a quantity sheet. Now, it's cool stuff. But we also have the ability to summarize. And I'm going to switch files. Apologize for jumping back and forth, but this will show that data off a little bit better. Is that it allows me to come in and I just did a metal guardrail, didn't I? I added a metal guardrail. And so, again, let me make sure I don't have anything fighting me in here. Nope. Uh, we want to remove those since they're already in there. So I had aggregated, used summary and... Yeah, excuse me. I used groups and aggregates on the last one. I want to just summarize it. So if I look at the metal guardrail and I run the report, this is pretty much what it looks like. You'll notice that a couple of these don't have any data in here. That's the one that I just drew. That's the one I drew this morning for the session. But I don't have any way. I want to take all the design lengths and I want a total down here. I want a total. I want to take the unit lengths and add them all up and tell me how many segments I actually have, the, excuse me, the number of segments. I want to know how many, how many I need to purchase. So how I do that is in the summarize option, I can add, in this case, summary. I'm going to do it based on, in this case, design length. So there's design length. I want the count, uh, or I'm sorry, I want the summary of the design length, and I want a count of the number of segments. And so now when I run this same report, what do I get? Well, it's going to take all of the, um, whoops, what did I do? No, oh, I said count, but I really wanted some. There we go. Sorry about that. There we go. Is It takes the summary of all of the numbers of segments, so 15 of these, 58 of these, and so on. Tells me I have 279 individual pieces of guardrail, 10 and 12 foot. And of course, 
I can group, remember we did grouping. If I wanted to change this and group at 10 feet, I could find out how many at 10 feet and how many at 12 feet. And it tells me what the design length of all my guardrail is. So summarize, aggregation, grouping, new feature, very cool, uh, something that was added and requested. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.